guys, my name is Stephen Blake from Inexperienced Painters and Decorators and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to bring a paintbrush back to life that has gone rock hard. So, okay guys, let's get straight into the tutorial. Right then, in this tutorial for bringing this paintbrush back to life, what we need is some nitromores, your old paintbrush, another brush, some safety goggles, gloves, turps, and the paint kettle. Right now, because we're mucking around with nitromores, we want to put our gloves and goggles on. Always wear the safety equipment. Right, what I've got here is I've already poured the um, nitromores into this coffee jar. You can use a bean can as well, but don't sort of use anything plastic for this part because I'm not sure whether this nitromores will sort of eat through the um, plastic paint kettle. Right, so I've poured everything into there. So as I've just said, I'd already pre-poured it, so when you're pouring it in, just be careful, wear your gloves. Now what we do, we just dip that in, so we'll get the other brush. And then just leave that to soak. We'll come back in an hour, guys. Right, guys, it's been about an hour, as you see. I've had a clear up here as well. Um, right, so again, not forgetting your, your safety equipment, your gloves and your glasses. Right. I, mean, I think I forgot to mention, I, I put about two inches worth of, um, of nitromores in this, um, this Dower Burt's coffee jar. Now after an hour, the nitromores has really started to do its job. As you can see on this once upon a time rock art brush. Now what I'm going to do is just squidge it about a bit, really work that nitromores in. And then basically, I'm going to leave that until tomorrow, right? So, yeah, I'm just going to leave that till tomorrow and give the nitromores even more time to work. Right, guys, it's been 24 hours that I've left this brush in the nitromores to soak, so... What I best do first is get my safety equipment on. And, um, now what I've got is some turps, an old bucket, a paint kettle, and some hot soapy water. Right, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to show you how gloopy now that is, it's all soft and I'm going to get all the excess off. Safety goggles. Off. 
Now what I'm going to do is put some turps into this pot. I'm not going to put When I tilt it, there'll be about an inch in it. When I tilt it like that. Now I'm not concerned now about the strength of the nitromores melting the plastic because there's turps there as well and we've took a lot of it off. But what I'm going to do is, is just squish it. Look at this. This guys. We've almost brought. Back to life. Now give it a spin again. once and spun it out as you see. I'm then going to pour the excess into this paint kettle. And now we're going to get some more turps. process again. soapy water and just give it another spin put that down there and that guys is how you bring a brush that was rock hard and left for two weeks deliberately for this to go soft so guys if you like the video please hit that subscribe button and please like and share thanks guys <laughs>